Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today we're going to look at this survival kit in a sardine can. I don't know how well one would survive on a uh, survival kit in a sardine can, and this has been in the glove, po uh, glove box of my car for years. I think it was packed in 2009. So I'm going to open it up and see what's in there, see if anything's gone bad over the last almost, what, 10 years almost. And uh, I figured I should share with you guys. So let's crack this can open. All right. You can see it's just a little package there. You can see this survival kit contains more than 25 items, all of which have primary and secondary uses. Interesting. It looks like everything is... Oh, wait, no. We'll get to this stuff over here in a second. What we got in this plastic bag? Looks like we have instructions. Bandages and all that stuff in it. But All right, we'll come back to that. Now it looks like we have a piece of duct tape. Um, okay. I mean, it's got to fit in a sardine can, so I guess that's pretty awesome. That's just like a, a little 2-inch, 3-inch by 2-inch piece of duct tape. What we got next in here? We have some triple antibiotic ointment. Good if you get a cut or something. Looks like you get a little packet of salt. Well, it's kind of a food item, so I'll set that uh, aside there. And turn the camera a little bit, too. All right, next thing, we have a alcohol prep pad. Have a book of matches. Always handy. So we have some acetaminophen, which I think is acetaminophen is Tylenol? Got a cup of tea. Well, a tea bag. I give you a little bit of caffeine, a little bit of energy, a little bit of nourishment, very tiny bit. And here we have a, a sugar packet, a Domino sugar, the same sugar that they put in the MREs. Let's see here, we got a, a piece of Wrigley gum. Let's see here. Oh, that's the big red right there. Cinnamon gum. Not my particular bag, but hey, if I was out in the woods, it would be tasty. Take that and set it over there. Uh, we have a pretty haggard Tootsie Roll, but I bet you that is still edible and delicious. <laughs> we have probably the tiniest compass I've ever seen. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Well, it works. It's a really tiny compass, though. Is there a paper cri uh, clip for uh, comparison? Set that right there. Have a whistle. Not a great one, but hey, a whistle. Have... Uh, that's a little, I think that's a little fire starting cube right there. Smells like it. Just like a little chunk of packed uh, sawdust or something. Some thread. Very handy. A uh, razor blade. That'd be great to have if you uh, need to cut anything or... Do some uh, roadside surgery, I guess. Have a Band-Aid. I think they kind of kind of screwed you on that one. I, I would want a couple of these Band-Aids in this. But one Band-Aid is better than none. Uh, let's see here. We got a golf pencil. 
a fishing hook. It's like a good size hook. Yeah, this is not like a stuck at sea size hook, but if you want something out of a lake or a stream, that that's the perfect size. And a safety pin. And then, of course, don't rule out you got the bag, which this is really handy to have. And then you have the tin. And the cool thing about the tin is you can drink water out of it, or if you find some food of some sort uh, that you need to cook and you don't have any cookware, you can put this on the fire and use it to cook, boil water to make your tea. And then you have your little fire starter right there, you have your matches, you have yourself a cup of tea out in the woods, or wherever you would be stuck. A little piece of candy, so you got, you got a little bit of a snack, I mean, it, I guess this thing would, would keep you alive for a day or two if you were just hopelessly screwed and out in the middle of nowhere, but there's a lot of handy things in here. Uh, the medical aspect aside, we'll set those aside. You have your duct tape, you have a razor blade, you have string, uh, the whistle. I guess if you're you're injured or you can't really talk or anything, you can blow into the whistle. I don't know. The compass, the paper clip, and uh, a little bit of little bit of paper on the bottom here. Oh, yeah, it says note paper. So you can use your pencil on that. Now let's see here. I'll give you a read down as an adhesive bandage, use on wounds or as tape. Alcohol prep ta a pad, clean wounds, itch relief. Antibiotic ointment used to uh, clean wounds to counter infection. A compass. Self-explanatory on the compass. Uh, the container, it says here, uses a cup of or a bowl to... So you see, make the tea. Uh, let's see here. You have your energy nugget, which they're calling the, the Tootsie Roll there. And Tootsie Rolls, like, if, if you go and watch, uh, I think it's Steve 8 in 1989, he does a really neat MRE channel, and uh, he opens all the old vintage MREs from World War II, Vietnam, Korea... Uh, he even goes as far as tasting some of the stuff. He'll smoke some of the cigarettes that are in them. Uh, it's a really, a really neat channel to watch. He's, he's a hoot to watch. Uh, I cringe sometimes when he eats some of that really old stuff. But Tootsie Rolls have been in MREs for a long time. So have uh, the, the Domino Sugar and a few of the other companies. Continuing on, you've got the fishing line, which you can use the fish or tie stuff up. The gum is, uh, here we go, stress relief, boat patch, or emergency tooth filling. I suppose that's why it's the cinnamon flavored one for the emergency tooth filling. I think the, the cinnamon might uh, dole out the pain of an exposed nerve or something like that. And the match is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, let's see here, note paper, pain reliever, pencil to write rescue notes. So you'll be able to write, like, one rescue note. Or if your car broke down and you're, you know... It, if your car breaks down, I don't recommend hiking away from it if you don't know where you're at. But if your car breaks down and you go to hike away, leave a note. Tell them what direction you're going. That way when the search party, you know, goes looking for your corpse, they'll find it. You should have stayed at the car. Uh, let's see here. It's a reflective signal surface. Oh, yeah. You can use the uh, bottom of this as a reflective surface, or the bottom of the can as a reflective surface to, sig uh, surface to signal people. Uh, you use a safety pen as an emergency suture. Ouch. Salt, take with water to fight dehydration. So you give it a, give it a little bit of, make your own like home saline solution there. They have the wire clip. You can use it as bindings or a animal snare. Let's see here. Water purification. Now, we didn't get any water purification uh, tablets with that, 
but all you got to do is, you know, it says in here, strain water and let settle and re to remove debris. Boil vigorously for 10 minutes. Add one minute boil time for every 10,000 feet of elevation. Let cool and mix, shake, or pour between clean containers to improve flavor. So that's really interesting. But I think, yeah, it's kind of a neat little thing, and everything looks pretty, pretty good still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff, and I'm just going to put it back in this plastic bag and put it back in the glove box of the car. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll leave a link for the uh, the MRE guy's channel because you should check that out. He's got a really neat channel. And uh, until next time, build stuff and have fun.